Hello everyone. Today we are going to demonstrate how to do a reefing procedure to cast this here cow. The first thing that you want to do with the reefing procedure is start with a bowline around the neck. The reason that we do a bowline around the neck is that we do not want the knock to cinch down around the neck and potentially strangulate the animal. So we're going to go around the neck with the rope. Remember with the bowline that you start with a small loop on the long side of the rope. Remember that that loop should have the long end of the rope on the down side of that loop. The end of the rope is your rabbit. The rabbit comes up through the hole, around the tree, and back down through the hole. And that creates the bowline around the neck that will not cinch down. With the reefing procedure, this is basically two half hitches or kind of like a forward interlocking pattern um, around the, the body of the animal. And so we come back, usually doing this on a real live cow. It will involve an assistant that is standing on the opposite side of the, of the cow to hand you the rope. But basically the rope comes back the, the spine. Your assistant can hand you the rope underneath. And then we create one interlock or basically one half hitch just behind the shoulders of this cow. And then we come back a little bit further and then we go back, circumvent the abdomen of the cow right in front of the udder, and then create a second half hitch, um, basically right in front of the udder in the hind legs of the cow. And that's what it looks like from the profile, that's what it looks like from the top, and that's what it looks like on the, the ventrum of the cow. To make this cow lay down to actually cast her, her head would need to be secured with a halter to some immovable object so she cannot back up when caudal pressure is applied to the rope and then basically tension is applied to the rope which causes ventral pressure on the dorsum of the animal and causes and create, makes that animal want to lay down. And that is the reefing procedure. Remember that one of the downfalls with the reefing procedure, if you have a male animal and there's a penis and prepuce here, the reefing procedure will cross midline with that rope and potentially could cause penile trauma, which could be detrimental um, if, you're, if you're dealing with a male animal. And so for those types of procedures, we may want to use what we call the running W um, or the burly procedure. So thank you very much. And I'd like to thank Dr. Ha for running the, the camera on this as well.